right? Because you're five. This has got lots of calculations in it. says put brackets in to show how these calculations is worked out. Well, before we do that, it's important we kind of understand how we do calculations and in what order we do it in. Because clearly it doesn't work at the moment. Because if I just work from left to right, I would do 12 take away 2, which is 10, times 3. Oh, well, it does work. But wait, isn't multiplication more important? So shouldn't we do 2 times 3 first, which gives us an answer 6? And then we're doing 12 take away 6 gets, doesn't get us to 30, it gets us to 6. So something weird's going on. We need to make sure that we understand what's going on. And there's a phrase that you can use to help you. And you may have seen this, oh, I did it in a wrong order, this phrase before, bid mass, where when you work your way down, it tells you what's the most important thing to do in this calculation and what's the least important. But I don't quite like it like this, written down like this, because actually division and multiplication have equal importance and subtraction and addition, addition and subtraction have equal importance. So I prefer to write it like this, bid mass, like that. And therefore the most important thing at the top is we do brackets and that allows us to do what we need to do first, and then powers and roots, then divisional multiplication, uh, and then addition and subtraction. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at how this uh, works in practice. So we've got our phrase big mass written like that. So let's look at this. We've got to do 100 minus 2 lots of 3 plus 4 all squared. Now it looks quite difficult, but if we work in step by step, hopefully it's going to help us to kind of keep track of what's going on. So the most important thing in this calculation are the brackets. So let's do these ones first. Let's do this calculation. So we're going to work inside the bracket first, so just here and here. We realize that 3 plus 4 is really 7. So to make my calculation a little bit simpler, I'm going to replace the 3 plus 4 with a 7. So 100 minus 2 lots of 7 squared. So we've done our brackets. We worked out the calculation in the brackets first. Then I want to do the powers and the roots. So this is the power 2. So that means that this really means 7 times 7, or 7 multiplied by itself. So I'm going to do 100 minus 2 lots of 49, because that's what 7 multiplied by itself, or 7 squared is. Okay? So the next thing we want to do is any divisional multiplication. Now it doesn't look like there's any divisional multiplication in here. But really, that's what this bracket means. We want to do 100 minus 2 lots of 49. So there really is a multiplication in there, so we've done our multiplication. Well, 100 minus, well, 2 lots of 49. I've actually got to work this bit out first. 2 49s are 80, 98. Okay? And then before we go forward and do our addition and subtraction. So we're doing 100 minus 98, which gives us the answer to. Okay, so that reminds us what we're supposed to be doing. Let's go back and look at the question. We want to put these in to show we want to work out which bit we've definitely got to do first. At the moment, at the moment, we're supposed to be doing the multiplication first because that's higher up our list, isn't it, of most important things. That's what we're supposed to be doing at the moment. So I want to put a set of brackets in to make sure that that's not the bit I do first. Because otherwise I get 12 take away 6. At the moment it reads 12 minus 6, which as we know we give the answer 6, which is wrong. So really, I want this answer to be 10, don't I? Because then I get 10 times 3. 10 times 3 is 30, so therefore now it works. How about this one? At the moment, B reads 7 times 8 multiplication first, which gives us 56 minus 5, which is 21. What? That doesn't make any sense. That's not 21. That's 51. Oh. So it doesn't work. So. Ah. Uh, if I had 7 times 3... That would get me to 21. So that means I want to do the subtract before. The only way I can do a subtraction before multiplication is by sticking it inside some brackets. 
So I've got 8 minus 5 is 3, 7 times 3 is 21. So that now works. And let's look at this now. At the moment, this reads I'm doing the division first. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. It's definitely not 3, which is what we want. So I have to put some brackets in. Let's have a look. How am I going to get from 15 to 3? Ah, if I divide by 5, so if I put my brackets in here, 15 divided by 5, because I do the brackets first now before the division, 15 divided by 5 is 3. That now works. And that's the position you should have the brackets in. Pause it and go back and read anything and look anything through again if you need to play back if you don't quite get it. Otherwise, let's move on.